the gospel of the lord praise, praise lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ Mary is both a queen and a mother but she is more of mother than queen in very moment Mary becomes a mother at the annunciation and she also becomes a queen gospel luke chapter 1 verses from 32 and 33 the archangel gabriel tells mary that a son will sit on the throne of his ancestor david and that he will reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end since jesus is a king and since he is conceived in the womb of mary and since in israel the mother of a king was always a queen therefore mary becomes a queen It is not royal blood but her motherly relationship with Jesus that makes Mary a queen. And since nothing is excluded from the realm of Christ the king, Mary is the queen of that same realm, that same kingdom including both heaven and earth. Mary is that heavenly queen in the mysterious vision of the book of revelation chapter 12 verses from 1 to 3 in which appears a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and on her head a crown of 12 stars dear brothers and sisters if we see the history of the church In the year 1955, Pope Pius XII designated to celebrate the queenship of Mary. Later, the Second Vatican Council declared to celebrate Mary Queen of All Saints with this reason. Lumen Gentium number 59, Mary was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory and exalted by Lord as Queen of the Universe. God had immensely glorified Mother Mary. In heaven, she is Mother, she is Queen of angels and archangels. But on earth, she is the Queen of patriarchs, prophets, apostles, martyrs, confessors, virgins, and saints. Mary is Queen of all saints because she is the greatest saint. being in deeper communion with Jesus than all other saints because she is the humble and maid of the Lord gospel Luke chapter 1 verse 38 Mary said here am I the servant of the Lord let it be with me according to your word God has highly favored her because of Luke chapter 1 verse 30 The angel said to her, "Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God." Brothers and sisters, Mary is a queen of queen by grace. No doubt that choice would rest upon the simple, humble, but virtuous maiden by the name of Mary. She was outstanding in virtue. She was outstanding in goodness. For that reason, the Catholic Church honors Mary as Queen of all saints. Dear brothers and sisters, every single one of us has been called to a life of holiness, has been called to be a saint. 
That is the end and purpose for which God created you and me in the gospel. Book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. God created us in his own image and likeness. God has made us that we might know him, that we might love him, and that we might serve him in this world in order to be happy with him forever in the world to come. That is why we are on this earth. If we fulfill that purpose, we will be saints. Dear brothers and sisters, but there was one who, who in the highest degree fulfilled that purpose. And that was our blessed mother. She knew God. She even lived mother and son. The Almighty poured into her mind and heart the knowledge of heavenly things by prayer, by spiritual thought, Mary came to know God. Furthermore, Mary loved God. She not only loved him as a human being, as her own child, as her own flesh and blood, but Mary loved her child as God. She also loved the Heavenly Father. Likewise, she loved the Holy Spirit. And Mary served God not once did she refuse to do what God had asked of her and what God had inspired her to perform. A service of God was complete. It was lifelong. It was true and sincere. In, the, in that sense, Mary fulfilled in the highest way of pur the purpose of life to know, to love, and to serve God. Dear brothers and sisters, for that reason, she is called the Queen of all saints. Queen of all those who tried in heroic ways to know God, to love God, and to serve God. We all call Mary the Queen of all saints for another reason. Every saint has certain virtues to a higher degree. Many of the saints, many of the saints had many virtues, but not one of one had all the virtues in a high degree. Saint Francis of Assisi had the spirit of poverty, but it was not to be compared to the poverty a spirit of our blessed mother. Some saints were known for their purity, but Mary was purity personified. Others were outstanding for their obedience, but Mary was the obedient daughter of God in the highest way. Dear brothers and sisters, we have generosity, we have saints known for their zeal, for their charity, their patience, their generosity, but every one of us, these virtues Mary had in the highest way. Hence we call her Queen of All Saints. We go on say so many reasons to call Mary as Queen of All Saints. We give her this title because Mary obtained for the holy people of all times the graces which made them pleasing to God. Just as at the marriage feast of Cana, Mary requested and obtained from her son a miracle. In dispensing his graces, Christ does so at the banquet. Legacy or inheritance and request of his blessed mother. We can call Mary the queen of all saints in the sense that she obtained God's help for them to lead virtuous and pious lives. 
Mary is queen of hosts. Those who enjoy the glory of heaven, there are different degrees in that glory. Some saints are greater than others. Mother of God stands out above them all. Let me quote St. Bonaventure on this point. As the Blessed Virgin surpasses all saints in the grace of a virtuous life and merit, so she stands higher than all the elect in the grace and glory and reward. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Mary is the queen of those who have led saintly lives. She is the queen of those who are leading saintly lives, and she is the queen of those who are already crowned with the glory of heaven. First, let us send Paul to the Corinthian chapter 1, verse 2. St. Paul tells, those who are sanctified in Jesus Christ call the saints. Psalm 31, verse 23, the psalmist says, Love the Lord, all you is saints. Psalm 37, verse 28, the psalmist says, God will not forsake his saints, they are preserved forever. So dear brothers and sisters, we should pray to the Queen of all saints for the grace to remember that God has created us to live a life of holiness in this world and to become saints in heaven. God will give us enough grace to do this if only we have earnest desire for holiness, just as Mary did. Holiness does not consist in heroic deeds, actions, words, but in doing the will of God perfectly, loving God with all our hearts and our neighbor for God's sake. Keeping our soul from sin and being united with God through prayer and the, and the sacraments, we should pray to Mary to obtain for us the grace to imitate our holiness in this world and, en and enjoy the vision of God and our presence for all eternity in heaven. Let us enthrone Mary as the queen of our hearts. If Mary truly the queen of our hearts, then Christ will also reign as the king of our hearts. To be loyal subjects of Christ the king is the greatest honor we can do to Mary, our queen. Her advice, Gospel John chapter 2, verse 5, is do whatever he tells you. Amen. Or oh, let us rise to express our faith in God. I believe in God.